Well, Premier Doug Ford is clearly encouraged by the numbers. He announced today he's opening up more of the economy. As of Friday, nurseries and garden centres can fully open. Hardware stores can open on Saturday fully. And on Monday, all retail stores across the province with street entrances can do curbside sales. They will have to respect public health measures and the same workplace safety guidelines as well. We'll continue working to get more businesses and services online as safely as we can. I want to be clear, all public health measures remain in place and will be strictly enforced. We can't take the progress we've made for granted. So it's good news for shoppers and struggling businesses, but COVID-19 numbers look very different across the province. The majority of cases are in the Toronto area. Take a look. We've got some numbers for you. The, according to public health numbers, Toronto has 190 cases per 100,000 people. The provincial average is 125 cases per 100,000. But in less urban areas, those numbers are significantly lower. Simcoe, Muskoka, for example, 56.7. Hastings Prince Edward, 26.1. So it's small wonder the Premier has been under increasing pressure from communities outside of Toronto to ease restrictions. But it will pose a challenge for Canada's largest city. Are you concerned that Toronto's not going to be able to control uh, the streets where there are, is a lot of shopping, Young Street, Queen Street, Bloor, etc. I mean, it would be far more easier for more rural communities to do this. There's a tale of two cities within Toronto. It's almost like the province. Uh, there's the downtown, uh, uh, Dundas Square and, and Queen Street uh, may be a lot busier. But if you go to Etobicoke, where I live, or Scarborough or North York, uh, you aren't going to have these big lineups. Matter of fact, the retailers would wish there was four or five people waiting in line to get into their stores, but I fully understand uh, downtown's a whole different uh, kettle of fish. I also asked the Premier if perhaps in Toronto people should have to wear masks when they're out shopping. He said that's up to Mayor John Tory if he wants to put those protocols in place. But he thinks wearing masks, even cloth ones, in a crowded area is a good idea. In some countries, like Austria, they made it mandatory to wear a mask while shopping. So I asked the province's medical officer of health if that's being considered here. I know that at the federal provincial uh, table, uh, we are looking at the literature around this and uh, trying to come up with some consistent recommendations um, around the use of cloth masks. Um, the cloth masks have been shown to reduce uh, transmission from the person wearing the mask to the people around them who are close to them. Um, and so uh, that is what we're looking at um, in terms of uh, recommendations. But uh, the actual literature is being reviewed as we speak. Now, the Premier was also asked when restaurants will be able to open, and he said, hang in there, hopefully sooner than later.